offered amnesty to hundreds of thousands of criminals who agree to fight against Ukraine. Two prominent United Russia members, the head of the Federation Council Committee on State Construction, Andriy Klishas, and the head of the State Duma Committee on State Construction, Pavel Krasheninkov, were entrusted with legalizing the distribution of weapons to Russian criminals and their sending to the war against Ukraine. Klishas and Krasheninkov submitted a bill to the State Duma, which actually provides for an amnesty for violators of the law who agree to fight against Russia. The bill does not contradict the principles provided for by criminal law and the legal mechanism for exemption from liability will contribute to the achievement of the goals of punishment as well as provide additional opportunities for manning the armed forces of the Russian Federation. Its authors note in an explanatory note, the proposed bill is similar to an act of amnesty Yevgeny Smirnov for the first department told. At the same time, according to him, there is a clear mistake in it it provides for automatic parole from punishment when entering military service. But according to Russian law, only a court can make such a decision. It is proposed to extend the amnesty both to those already convicted and to criminals awaiting sentencing who have committed acts of minor or moderate gravity. Potentially, these are hundreds of thousands of people. According to the statistics of the Judicial Department, in the first six months of 2022, Russian courts convicted 274,687 people, including 139,502 people for crimes of minor gravity, 55,906 people for crimes of medium gravity.